Hey guys, Shadow Spinner here again. Um, my last review for today is going to be for the book Gathering Blue by Lois Lowry. It's actually second in um, a kind of series. It's a sequel to her first book, The Giver, which a lot of people have actually read. I read it a couple years ago, and I didn't realize there were two extra books after The Giver. So um, one of my friends lent me the next two books. So I'm on this one, and I'm actually reading the third one, which is called Messenger. And I'll probably do a review on that one after I finish it. But for now, here's um, my review for Gathering Blue. Um, like I said, it's a sequel to The Giver, which is set in a universe that's kind of um, like set in the future. It's sci-fi. It's where um, the whole world is kind of in these separate communities and everybody lives there and everything is supposed to be perfect. Um, everybody is given a job to do and everybody who is a, an outcast for any reason, like they're blind or anything, is thrown out and everything is supposed to be perfect. But um, the main character in Gathering Blue is named Kira and she was born with a twisted leg and she has trouble walking. And they were originally going to, um, well the leaders of the community, were originally going to cast her out but her mother insists on keeping her. And um, it turns out Kira has this really great gift with weaving which comes in handy to the um, community leaders when um, they need the special robe repaired. Because every year they have this person who's called the singer, and they come out and they sing about the past to remind everybody about how great today is. So that they, so that people won't want to rebel and change the way things are, because they'll be scared of that. So they want Kira to repair the robe because every year it gets a little bit more worn. So they need her to come and do that. And um, consequently, her mother dies, and so that, and her father had died previously as well. So they end up taking her in there, and so she ends up working on the robe, and she meets um, another boy who's called the Carver, and he works on the um, the staff that the singer uses, and it helps him to tell the story. Both the staff and the robe have special things that um, help relay the history of the world, or at least the way that the um, council members want it to be remembered. Um, so she and this boy, I think his name is Thomas, they actually end up um, hearing some weird sounds around the castle, like crying, and they're trying to figure out um, like where that's coming from. And Kira ends up finding out there's this whole conspiracy, and the more that she stays around the council, um, she learns that things aren't exactly as they pretend that they are. Um, this book has an interesting plot. It's, it's kind of slow, though. I have to say that it is. Um, it takes a really long time to get going. I mean, it's an interesting book because the writing is so good and the characters are so good, but the plot is rather slow. Um, there isn't one huge problem that they're working towards and trying to overcome. And um, just the way that it's written, there isn't a lot going on for a while. A lot of it for the beginning is um, her moving into the... Um, palace area where they want her to work on the weaving and her learning about dyeing the um, threads so that she can make the weaving and things like that. Like, I mean, they're building up to the climax, but it's slow. Like, you'll hear one interesting piece of information, but they won't really explore it. Like, um, when Thomas, her friend, first hears the child crying, he's like, did you hear this? And she's like, no, and they're all talking about it. And then it kind of um, moves on back to the weaving. So, you, I mean, it's setting up for things that are going to happen later on, but you're waiting for it. <laughs> and you kind of just have to sit through the rest of the um, details, which are interesting, like I said. I'm not saying it's a boring book, but it is slower moving. It's not very action-oriented. Um, the characters in this book are, are just really great. Um, they're really well explored. Um, and Kira, the main character, she loves weaving. That's like her artistic thing. Like somebody who likes singing or drawing, that's kind of her thing like that. And so it's interesting when she talks about it. And that really characterizes her a lot, I thought, um, with the weaving thing. And especially shows that even though she does have a crippled leg, she is still able to contribute so much to the society that was actually willing to cast her out. So she's a great character. She's always persevering. And um, she's just really cool. Um, her friend Thomas is pretty good, too. He's really nice, and he's dedicated. Um, you don't learn a ton, a ton about him, but he's a really great character. You, you'll like him a lot. 
she has another friend. His name is Matt. He's a little bit younger than her. He's really funny. He's the mischievous one, and he's always running around and causing trouble. And um, he's a really fun character. And then her, there's her mentor at um, the palace, and his name is Jameson. And he seems nice on the surface, at least in the beginning, but you're always kind of suspicious of him. I won't say whether or not he ends up being a suspicious character, but um, he's very mysterious, and Kieran is pretty sure he's keeping things from her. Um, so the characters are just great, but Lois Lowry always comes up with great characters. I love her books. Um, even if sometimes the plots are a bit slow moving, she kind of overrides that with the characters, and with, by the end of the book, it's just so incredible that you don't really care. Um, her writing is beautiful. She just comes up with these really um, great, vivid descriptions. Um, I was going to highlight some of my favorites, but, um, sorry, but, um, there's too many. So anyway, got to answer the phone. So I'll wrap up now. Um, this is a great book. I would give it, um, I guess, four stars out of five. Don't read it if you like slow-moving books, but if you like <laughs> exciting books, this isn't very exciting, but it's a great, beautiful book. So definitely check it out. There is a third book that I'll be reviewing later. So thanks for watching. Bye.